in Genesis 18, says the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in a tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked and lo, three men. Okay? And then over here, it's in chapter 19, it says there came two angels to Sodom and Eden. Um, what happened to the third one? All right. Genesis chapter 18. Question here is these angels. Genesis 18.1, the Lord appeared to him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. All right, the Lord appeared to him. So the Lord has to be in that bunch. And that is how you know the Lord has to be in that bunch. Because right in the same passage, 17, and the Lord said, verse 13, and the Lord said, verse 20, and the Lord said. So in this appearance, the Lord has to be present. And... Uh, Abraham stops and talks with him there in verse 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, 18, 1, the Lord appeared to him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat at the tent door in the heat of the day. He lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, and lo, three men stood by him. Now we know what these men are. These men are angels. Everything in that Bible is a man. Now how do we know this? Turn to the next chapter. Chapter 19, verse 1, and watch the wording. 19, 1, there came two angels to Lot at even. All right, verse uh, 5. Where are the men which came in unto thee? That thing? Verse 10. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house. Angels are men. And those are angels right there take, taking him out. Uh, the same chapter, uh, verse... Uh, uh, 16, while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and so forth, and took him out. Angels of men. Every game in that Bible was a 33-year-old man, and the sexless angel in that entire book. And when he says over there in Hebrews chapter 13, some have entertained angels unawares, he's saying clearly that if an angel knocked at your door and you went to the door, you might bring him in unaware of the fact that he was an angel, which would be ridiculous if he had wings. Uh, if you went to your door at night and hear this thing stand up here with hair like a woman and wings sticking out, I'll tell you one thing, it ain't. It ain't an angel. <laughs> Some kind of demon. All right, Genesis 18, 2. Lift his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. When he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground. Now, one of those men is the Lord. And it has to be because the Lord shows right on through the conversation. Uh, notice uh, 9, and they, the men, said, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said in the tent, and he said, one of the angels, I will certainly return to thee according to the time of life. That's the Lord. So one of those angels is the angel of the Lord. All right, for the angel of the Lord, come to the New Testament, pick up uh, Acts chapter 26, uh, 27, and notice this angel of the Lord in the Old Testament is the Lord Jesus Christ before he was incarnate. It's the Son of God in the Old Testament. Get uh, Acts chapter 27 in one hand, Acts 27 in one hand, and uh, Galatians 4 in the other. So you have three angels here, and one of these angels is the angel of the Lord. Acts chapter 27. Acts chapter 27, verse 23. This is Paul on the ship in the middle of the storm telling about a vision he had. Acts 27, 23, For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve. Why, Paul was an idolater. He didn't serve anybody but Jesus Christ. But there is Jesus Christ appearing as the angel of the Lord. Now look at Galatians chapter 4 and see it again. Galatians chapter 4, 14. Galatians 4, 14, My temptation which was in my flesh, he despised not or rejected, but received me as an angel of God, comma, even as Christ Jesus. All right, back to Genesis chapter 18. The answer to this thing is, when he finishes talking with these three fellows, two of them leave, and then one of them stays back. Look at verse 16, Genesis 18, 16. And the men, plural, rose up from thence and looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. So Abraham's walking along with all three of them there. And then one of them says in verse 20, 
The Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see where they have done it altogether according to the cry of it, which has come to me, and if not, I will know. And the men, now there are two of them, turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom, but Abraham stood yet before the Lord. There's the third one. So the third one is there with Abraham, and that explains chapter 19, 1, and there came two angels of Sodom and Eden. All right, something else. Nothing like a Bible to clear up the college education.